Hey everybody, welcome back to Dream Garage. Brock here with you. I wanted to give you a sneak peek if you have not seen the Winchester Speedway. Um, this is actually where the event is going to occur. Um, what's really cool about this, we had some big meetings today. We had a meeting with uh, Chad from the Faster Lifestyle, Ian um, from the Night Shift, uh, Project Night Shift, um, which does clothes and, and uh, media, things like that. And Brandon Hall, who's actually integrated with them and us. And the reason I wanted to come out here while I was over here is to show you guys a little bit about the Speedway itself. Excuse me. The Speedway itself. Um, so we might actually get to use more than what I thought on the grounds. Um, we don't know that for sure yet. That's still something to be determined. I'm waiting to hear back from Bob, who is the um, promoter for this track. Um, this track is world famous. Uh, it's the fastest record half mile in the world. Uh, it's known throughout the country. There's plenty of guys and gals who have been either professional NASCAR drivers, IndyCar drivers, different, different professional ranks that have raced here in the small area of Winchester. As you guys can see, this here is where the ticket um, tickets happen you know, when they uh, buy to enter for the grandstands, um, <clears throat> which is really cool. And I think they even had a store in there. They still do. Um, the facilities for concessions and for restrooms are here. They have a main grandstand here. And then as you see out in this area, um, there's a ton of space that I think we're going to use all of it um, based on what I the conversations I've had. Um, I mean, you can see all the way to the highway. There's a ton of space, guys. Um, and we want to use the whole thing for this event. And I do think that's possible. So I um, wanted to kind of give you an update uh, from that perspective. We are like centimeters from releasing the date. We had to just check one more time with the promoter to make sure there was no other um, was no other dates that that would work better or that they didn't have in already for the event. So um, we are projecting end of August, but I will give you guys a firm update um, once that happens. I apologize if I'm too close to the camera. I'll end up turning it back around. But um, the, the meeting I had this morning, uh, I think that there could be uh, a ton of exotic cars here. And I, I'm excited about that personally. I think it's going to be amazing. Um, we have some other collectors and, and people around the area don't even know about the event yet. We uh, do have the county support. Um, I think we're going to be on billboards. Uh, we might even be able to be on Kix 96, which is a local country station here in this area. <clears throat> so that's going to be amazing. Um, because all of this promotions, all the marketing, everything out there, that's what's going to help make this event work. And without your guys' help, that's the only way this, this happens. So, um, couldn't be more blessed. I've just kind of had a humbling day with, uh, the different meetings. I was with Mark in that meeting, uh, Haney, who's obviously helping, uh, being partnership and, and promoting this event. Um, so it's just a humbling experience, guys. I mean, there's a lot of history at this track. There's a lot of memories that so many people can connect to nationally, uh, worldwide, or just in the area. For me, my uncle's a huge race fan. So when I was a kid, I came out here and got to watch races. And um, it's just such a neat part of our county that there are a lot of people that know and there's a lot of people that don't. And uh, to be able to bring an event like this to uh, to Randolph County and be able to use a facility as known as this. Um, it's just a humbling experience for me um, because there's so many people that have hands in this that are that are all on board. Um, every time we talk to somebody, every time we mention what we're doing, they are just on board immediately. They're like, hey, whatever you need. Um, you know, and obviously the date's gonna to, to be set. We have to get that done. I'm trying to push for that as quick as possible. Um, but as soon as we get that, then we need to start talking about boosts. And I will give you guys a lot more information on that because that's gonna be a huge part of this. Um, we are going to have food trucks here. We're going to make sure everybody can be fed, uh, have restroom facilities. We're going to try to do activities. We might even have a radio station here, uh, live at the event, which would be really neat. Um, but you know, if we could use this infield of the track, I'm going to flip this back past me, um, you know, use it out here. And I mean, guys, the view don't get much better when it comes to a car event at a, at a well-known worldwide racetrack. Um, you know, over the years, it's, 
they've talked about doing things to better the track and i'm talking years past and you know didn't quite get there and you know but they still host the winchester 400 which is very well known um but now it's in the hands and they are doing things for it in the infield i saw a bunch of bleachers out there that uh they could easily be doing and installing so that way there's more seating um you know they've got a um, a race coming up in early to mid-May that uh, um, is a flyover state 150 and it's kind of a, a the same type of cars that come to the Winchester 400 and uh, gives them more time on the track more time to get used to it and, um, and more practice on it as well because every track's a little bit different the angles and, the, and degrees and the turns and you know a half mile is only so long so how, how quick you can get out of a turn on the straightaway how fast you can go um, when you need to break or, or, or slow down to go into the turns so you know they are doing a lot of things at this racetrack guys to um you know make it better get more events here and um, continue to bring things back to our, my home community um and i'm just so blessed to be a part of that and i think this event can be a huge uh huge learning experience for people who haven't seen it before um but also that that this this place isn't dead guys i mean there's a lot of cool stuff here a lot of great history that'll never be forgotten and uh we want to continue that that's that's why all of these pieces mean so much because we are trying to uh, take all these stories and history and things that you know it, it, when people pass on that have those in, that information um, it could easily be something that we don't hear about again and we don't want to lose that you know this the, the car community is out there for each other um, just the, the meetings I've had today all of the support and opportunities from you guys I, I mean I'm just humbled because this is a passion of mine when you start talking to people, there's so much passion for everybody uh, that they have, whether it's this area, whether it's um, whether it's about a car, whether it's about a truck or uh, any anything with a motor, which is why we're calling it Motor Madness. Um, it's just amazing. Um, you know, I got to see an old teacher that I uh, had known for years and Missy Williams and, you know, it's just neat to catch up with her and and Scotty Harvey's um, a big part of the the. Uh, promoter for Randolph County. She's all like, what do you need us to do? What can we help with? And, you know, of course, Monty and, and then Mark and myself and Brandon, there's so many people that I could sit here probably for 10 minutes and just say names. I'm not going to do that. But it just tells you how big and supportive this event is going to be. Um, so thankful um, just for the opportunity to be a part of this. This is all for you guys. And, you know, like I said, I mean, there's plenty of space here. Um, we will get the logistics down. I think that Monty and Mark and I will come out here and actually kind of walk through the grounds, find out where the best places are for the booths, best places are for vendors, where people need that have need power hookups and then obviously for general parking um so you know like i said this this i mean it's a huge lot huge area so um you know really really excited guys um we got five and a half months almost six months to promote this um all of your support is huge all of it um so you know the the instagram um likes and shares and and getting onto youtube and subscribing to the channel um you know facebook you know like i said we're already up to almost 120 members on the facebook group that is so phenomenal i mean it's just great to see that people are jumping on board to to let's do something different let's let's dare to be different let's show that you know the midwest has a lot of cool things to offer um this isn't you know just something that we're we're thinking about it's reality and uh just so blessed um to be a part of it so we are going to have shirts i was supposed to have the logo today I'm, I'm still waiting on that um but we will be starting to get shirts in we will have some to be able to be ordered if you would like to get a shirt please let me know um i will get prices on them once we know what the, the sample shirts are um i will know you know well, i mean i'll be able to get whatever you need so youth or adult um you know so i'll get prices out there so you guys know i will get um you know the sizes available and then times for how long it takes to get them and if you guys would like to have shirts prior to the event let me know but uh i just wanted to give you guys a little show of what we've got here and the history that the winchester speedway has thank you so much for watching 
If you are new to the channel, it's your first video watching, thank you so much for uh, taking the time out of your day to watch this. Um, every day that passes by and every conversation I have, it just gets more and more exciting, guys. I, I just, I can't believe it. It's it's an amazing feeling. And to be able to share this with each and every one of you, um, I, I just, I, I'm just beside myself and all right now. So um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please, please, please hit that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up button, leave comments. You know, we want to hear feedback from you guys too. Um, you know, like I said, the shoe drive is happening. Door prizes are happening. Businesses are getting involved. Um, you know, the big surprise will be unveiled at the event. We have got so many things happening that that takes preparation and time that we're doing. Um, so please don't, don't hesitate. Let me know what your thoughts are. Let me know if you have any questions. If you want to be a part of the event, let me know. Um, you know, we can incorporate you. Um, there's going to be plenty of things we'll need from people to help, um, you know, maybe even parking people, whether it's, you know, for tickets or whether it's for sales, whatever the case may be. If you want to be a part of this event, please do not hesitate to let me know. Um, but, you know, like I said, while I was in the area, I wanted to show you what we are doing here. And this is going to be the main spot for the event. Also, we are talking about integrating the drive in the night prior, and I need to call Paletta. I probably will do that tonight um, to ask what their thoughts are on that. And we do have a nice hotel that was built here. Um, I think it was like 10 to 15 years ago. Uh, it's a really nice hotel. It was locally built and owned. Um, so it wasn't a chained hotel, but it is a nice hotel. And uh, so people that are traveling from out of the area, we do have a lot of people that I, I think are gonna be doing that. Um, we do have places for you to stay in Winchester so you are close to the event. So if you wanna know more information about that, let me know. Otherwise, I'm gonna end it right here for you. Um, I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Don't forget to follow your dreams and, and do the best you can each day. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one.